Oh, 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 oh. oh yes. We called ourselves a big one, boys. We called ourselves a big one. Kaiser Klein, he's back. Don't think he's played a game in two, three weeks, maybe. Um, and me, with the eagle eye that I have, I, I caught I caught a big one. I saw him, saw him playing a game, and I just had to I had to open it. So um, here we are, going up against none other <laughs> than his nemesis, the nemesis himself, Mister Revnak, playing on. Uh, some account called I had to play Germany twice. I I don't get the joke. I don't know what the inside joke is. So my apologies. I I'm guess I think Revnak thinks Germany are OP. I mean, I think that's what the joke is about, but I don't really know. Uh, he's probably the only one that thinks so. Um, but yeah, this is good. This is gonna be a good one. So we've got an early, <laughs> got an early pause game. Who paused it? Doesn't look like it's gonna tell us who paused it. But this is gonna be an absolute banger. This is gonna be an absolute banger. So we're gonna sit tight and wait. See what happens. This one. Let's talk about the map. The very, um, the very penis shaped lake in the middle of this map um an oddly shaped ball on this side um not sure what that's about but uh vividly plain you have some explaining to do i think vividly plain uh, enjoyed making this map all right here we go finally so underway mr kaiser klein the previous rank number one going up against the current rank number one oh <laughs> doesn't get much higher standard of play than this this is this is as high as it gets these two considered some of the best if not the best players that i've ever played the game kaiser klein particularly just just with just the, the the most masterful micro of any player i've ever watched played against just it's just uh you know he is just phenomenal to watch he is just phenomenal to watch. Plus, with Kaiser Klein, you always get a bit of smack talk as well. So, you know, you've, got, you've always got drama in, in maps like this. And I, I would love to know what they're talking to each other about. Unfortunately, in these casted games, you can't see it. But uh, I, I just know that they're... <laughs> they're grilling each other hard right now. Absolutely grilling each other. Take a look at uh, the scouting pattern of Kaiser here. He's gone for that starting TP. He's going to be chopping for wood. Only over, over chopping by one. Pretty good. He's going to get, get that house down. And he's going to go to 14 vils. I presume. Scout. This this is one, one, one of the one things why France are so good. Look, whilst he's got a TP with his explorer, he's been able to scout where all of the really good treasures are in the map. So having that early scout is just such a huge advantage, particularly if you use it right. If you know, if you if you use it properly, it's now got five attack as well, so it's helping kill this explorer. And who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? I think it's Kaiser. I think Kaiser just about got it. Boom, he has. He's put his melee on uh, explorer on melee. He's gonna try and use his scout now to try and block the path of the of Revnax explorer. And what that will do, that will slow him down and allow the his explorer to get the snare but it looks like he's kind of given up it's quite uh micro intensive to try to do that 13 vils from kaiser klein it looks like because he got that food treasure he's decided to go to 13 vils and look at the age of time two minutes 35 uh, definitely worth it because the sooner you age up the sooner you get age two shipments so, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that play. Still continually going on. Look at that. Block the path. And boom. Using it very familiar to how the Spanish use their dog. Just getting in the way. Punching it down. But making sure the scout doesn't get within uh, within his own path of his own uh, hero. Great play there by Kaiser Klein. Great play by Kaiser Klein. And that's always the risk. That is always the risk of taking your explorer to your kind of opponent's side of their base it's always it's, it's a very high risk high reward type of scouting pattern and i'm not fond of it but yeah great play by kaiser clan there take a quick look at his deck again very standard by the looks of it yeah nothing out of the ordinary this is kaiser clan we're talking about the standard of all standard builds 
Portugal agent up with 13 bills. Pretty standard here. Hasn't gone for... Did he go for a starting TP? He didn't go for a starting TP. Uh, went for a house and a market. Or, ju or just a house by the looks of it. Um, and then decided to get hunting dogs as well. Interesting that he hasn't gone for a TP. Kaiser can't go for a second TP. Interesting. So he does have place of mines. He doesn't have hunting dogs yet. Hunting dogs is now coming in, but he's prioritized getting a second TP. So maybe we're going to see some stagecoach play here. Maybe we're going to see some stagecoach play. I, I, he, we must see some stagecoach play. If he's if Kaiser if he's gone for the second TP, um, then he's definitely going to want to invest into stagecoach. Could even get a third one here. Is he going to be able to stable? First, so really greedy play here by Kaiser Klein. And, and very aggressive play. Very aggressive play by Revnak. Going for that, that market. We've seen a lot of Portuguese players doing this recently. Just kind of dominating the map with that forward. You know, it's 4 minutes 40. And he's just placed down a town centre on the other side of the map. So almost no other civilization could really contest this. Um, and putting a barracks down as well. So Kaiser Khan's gone for free TP, super greedy. And Revnak's going to be happy to see this. Revnak is going to be super happy to see this because he's going kind of aggressive here. The problem is, though, that I, one thing I like about this map and, and why Kaiser Khan's decided to do that, look at where this base is and look at where the units are going to have to come from. He's either going to have to walk all the way back down here to try and siege this or he's just going to have to walk through Kaiser's base, which just isn't going to happen, right, to take down this TP, so... Um, Kaiser Klein then shipping 700 gold. That's very peculiar. I'm, I'm not really sure what that's about. He hasn't scouted either. He, so he doesn't know that there's a forward base there. But he does see that there's forward uh, musketeer. So he's going to have to presume that there's a forward barracks somewhere. Because he has he's looked around his base and he hasn't seen it. But he hasn't seen the second TC either. So he must know by now that there's a forward TC here. So Kaiser Klein going super greedy. A complete naked FF here with stagecoach, with free TPs, with 700 gold. The man. This is the greediest French build I've ever seen. It's not, it's only 6 minutes 10 in the game as well. Four bills into 700 gold. My god. The good thing... One of the reasons why France can kind of get away with this sort of build is because they have CDBs, which are super tanky. So they're going to be very difficult to kill. Oh, my word. He is... Oh, he does lose a villager. That's unfortunate. He is going to be able to get up, though. Just about going to be able to age up. So, oh, almost losing a second CDB. Losing one CDB is bad enough. You definitely don't want to be losing a second one. Stagecoach is in, though. Revnak? Oh, okay, I was going to say, he could actually decide from there to go down go down to this TP and start try to siege it. But it's definitely worth his while um, harassing these villagers here. Look, we've got a weak villager here as well. So Kaiser Klein needs to be super careful about losing these villagers. And I think he's going to lose at least one here. Oh, oh, God, just in the nick of time. Almost losing two, but didn't lose one in the end. So very, very nice. I think Kaiser Khan just needs to play safe. And he's got a few villagers which are very weak. So he just doesn't want to lose any CDBs. And he'll be fine. Aging up very quickly there as well. But what's the play? Has free TP. So he's going to have plenty of XP. Ooh. A cheeky... That, I, I feel like that's, that's too brazen. I feel like that should definitely be down here somewhere. Uh, or even down here somewhere. Um, but Kaiser Khan just desperately want to get something up. Just, just to be able to make stuff. I think we're going to see a house go down. We are. He's going to try and build that up as quickly as he can. And it's going to go up very nicely. But one goes down as well in the meantime. And he, he has no way of getting another. He does have stagecoats on wood. So a nice musketeer push there. He does have these goats as well if he needs food in a pinch. Just the one racks at the moment. Don't think we see a stable or anything like that. 700 gold coming in. That could be the far the fortress age now. Kaiser Klein putting some walls down. This explorer just been on this TP the entire, almost it feels like the entire game. And look how much damage it's done. It's actually done a thousand damage to that TP now, which is pretty pretty cool because uh, once once these musketeers go over there, it's gonna not gonna take long at all to take that down. Look at that, it's pretty crazy when you think about it. How much is it? 18 siege attack. 
But, you know, he has had to sacrifice his explorer by being there the whole game. But, it has, he, you know, what else is he going to use his explorer for? So, you know. Five goons coming in now. It's another shipment. Going to be making some goons. So, super greedy build here by, by France. But I feel like... I feel like Revnax got the advantage here. He's got the map. Skirm Goon's not going to be able to push into into this TC. Because there's not a lot of siege there. These Musketeers will be able to hold anything off. Yeah, I'm not sure what we see here. I mean, it's going to have to be two Falconets. But I feel like Revnax aging up. He is. He's gone for Fatorius into six Musketeers. Uh, it looks like he went Spice Trade first card. Into six Musketeers. Into 700 coin. Uh, this card is um, it's a very greedy card. It's a very eco oriented card, and it's, and it's actually really good. Um, it helps the yield as well, not just not just uh, how fast they gather, but it helps the yield as well. So the TP getting taken by Revnax, but he's gonna be able to just about deny Revnax getting it built. Almost, it felt like I had like 300 HP left. Just about gonna start sieging it down. So very clever. He doesn't want to get caught though. He needs to be super careful about getting the look at this. Yeah. He knows he knows the explorer was gonna go for the snare just so the musketeers can catch up. Gets taken down and bang. Revnak rebuilding that ASAP. This the third TC going right down next to the second one. Four free organ guns coming in now. Shit's getting real. He's going to see those organ guns and he's going to go for it. All the skirms can pop off. They're very nice. He could take down two safely. And I think he's going to be super happy with that. That was insane trade. Kaiser Klein just recognizing that these outposts were kind of vulnerable. Uh, using the goon's superior range um, over the musketeers. Or well, the skirmishers, should I say. And just being able to pick off two. Really, really cost efficient. He's trying to fish for that third one. He feels like he's got the right moment. Look at that split! Look at that split! Just so that it avoids the melee from the skirt uh, from the musketeers. I told you about this man's micro. I told you. Look, he's he's just managing his his units so they don't get caught within the snare and the me the melee uh, multiplier or three times three versus cavalry because that goes for goons as well. Just oh, mwah, magnificent, magnificent. That's me trying to do a French accent because Kaiser Klein is French. Um, I didn't pull it off very well, but regardless, just tip my hat. Tip my hat to the micro. It might not look that impressive, but, you know, you try and do it. You know, I, I you know, I couldn't do that that effectively. You guys try and do it. I dare you. I dare you. Just beautiful play. Beautiful play. And it's just like, it's just the little things like that when that you see Kaiser Klein do. That you don't see anyone else do, honestly. Like, I don't see anyone else do do things like that. Um, just because Kaiser Klein pulls it off. So, so good. Tassadors approaching some villagers here. Very nice. Uh, he's going to lose one villager. He's not going to get that artillery up in time. Uh, I'm sure he's going to be able to rebuild that. So, very nice. Okay, Falcon is going to try and kill these Tassadors. But he's just about too far away. Uh, going to be able to avoid that. Oh, but that's a dodgy position to send your 1k word. And yeah, Kaiser Klein's going to see that 100%. And he's going to be like, uh-uh-uh, no, 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 no. I'm not going like, to let you have that 1k wood that easily. But double TC fire on one Falconet here. Yeah, it's going to force it backwards. Look at that. And that's exactly why he put this, the TC right next to each other. Just so he could do this. He's going to lose. He's gonna. He knows he's going to lose a Falconet here. But, it, you know, he's, he's just trying to force some pressure. And uh, I think if this, if this base stays up these tcs and all this infrastructure stays up tc uh, tp going down there um i think i think revdax is going to kind of hold the game here um however we'll take losing a villager there however if if Kazakhan, on the other hand can take down this infrastructure then i think he wins the game so it's gonna come it's gonna come down the scores are close honestly the scores are close which is pretty good for which is pretty good for Revnak. I, I actually think that's pretty good for Revnak. Twenty nine bills France he does still have the trade post with two trade posts, but Revnak picking up one of them now as well. Fifty one, ah yeah, with spice trade and Fatorius. I think this is looking pretty good for Revnak. He's got these walls down. He's got a great. He's got a great kind of influence here. 
culverin. Oh, a culverin. See, he did see this artillery. So because he saw that artillery with the Casadors, he's going to um, preempt a uh, culverin, which is what he's doing here because he didn't see these two Falconets, but he only saw the two that he would have got from the shipment. Goon's taking care of those Musketeers. Yeah, and Spice Trade just... The longer this game goes on, the more effectiveness he's going to get out of Spice Trade. The longer Fatorius is going to be trickling resources. I mean, he's down to two TCs now, so... Um, but he's going to try and get the third one back up. Totally agree with that. Um, not sure about the placement of that one, but again, you know, it's just re-establishing re um, the, the kind of map control. Um, losing a villager there, but he's got plenty more, so... Not gonna be too unhappy about that. And yeah, look, this is this is the issue. We, you know, he's got a TC here with TC5. He's got the lo loads of these walls and the castors. Yeah, you know, that's that gonna be absolutely fine. He's got a cauldron behind this as well. Um, and it's just so. It's look at this wall now. It's just so difficult for Kaiser Clan to push in here. The line of sight advantage, the artillery advantage, um, the range advantage, just everything is in favour of Revlat right now. Um, so how does Kaiser Clan breach this? Yeah, Kaiser Clan gonna lose a Falconet there. Didn't didn't react in time. Oh, the Casador's kind of um, blocking the way of the Colrin there. Five curves coming in, but I think that oh, in, I don't know if that dodged or not. Um, I don't think it did because they're both damaged now. But um, yeah, look, very weak now, and the uh, TC Fire gonna be able to take down these two. So, that's a thousand resources going down it, very easily to one Colrin. Um, so great trade, great trade for Rednack. Um, you know, he's taken down, Kaiser Khan's taken down a TC, but what else has he achieved? He's killed a few villagers. Yeah, he's killed a few Casadors. He's killed some Musketeers, and yeah, it just doesn't feel like he's achieved too much right now. He went for a super greedy build order. 55 Vils for Redneck, and, and, and it's only going to get worse. You know, he's only going to get high. He's, free. he's on three TCs. He's flying pretty high right now. More walls are going down. How does Kaiser Klein push into this? More curves coming in. More Falconets coming in. He's on 34 Vil. So, yeah, that's pretty good. He's, he's on two TPs with Stagecoach as well. His Explorer's not in the fight, though. That could be a bit of a problem. Looks like he's going to go for a third Falcon. And he looks like he can pop it in a really nice place. He could have got a third one out, but he didn't. And he could have popped it forward, but he didn't. Oh, hiya. Maybe he was a little bit worried that there was another Culverin coming. Uh, there is one here, so maybe that was his thought process. So, he pl again, played it very safe. Played it very safe. So, you've got to respect it. Uh, personally, I would have, you know... Uh... <laughs> Giving them Casadors, baby. Giving them Casadors. I would have gone all out. I would have gone all out, baby. Those Casadors would have been mine. That ass would have been to the grass, baby. And look at this Casador mass now. All of a sudden, and it's not enough. It just doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Two K score in front, and with, with with Portugal with three TCs. But look at that raid. Just I was calling it. Just as it was glimmer of hope. Kaiser Klein goes and does this. Oh, that was tasty. That was tasty. But he's running into how it is. Is he going to... Oh, yeah. I don't think he's paying attention right here because the big bout going on here as well. And I'm a caster and I can't keep track of everything that's going on. The Kurds are going to do it. They're out. Oh, and it's going to be another genocide. Oh, oh, oh. And he's trying to do some raiding of his own. Minimen getting called as well. But all those... Oh, God. One's going to survive. I think one's going to survive just about. Some more ice. Hey. Revnak's not going to be happy with that. And now he's diving into some Falconets. Oh. Oh. God. And the score's now 2k. I can't keep up. I'm getting too old for this. This is too much excitement. It's too much excitement. The Kurds are coming back now. Oh, and now it's his turn to do some raiding. Oh, this game is going to give me a heart attack. The Colvin going down. Oh, that's going to be... He's going to be happy with that. Kaiser Klein will take that trade all day, baby. He's got Falconet, so he's going to be well happy with that. Curse coming in now, but how is he going to breach these walls? There's a big mass of Casadors. I, I don't know if, if a couple of measly Falconets is going to be able to take down all of this infrastructure. He's got to find a way in. He's got to find a snare. He's got to find a good flank. He's got to utilize these curves. Can he do it? Great raid. Absolutely cracking raid from Kaiser Klein now. 
Monsieur, Monsieur. He definitely deserves a croissant. He deserves a croissant after that one. I think I deserve a croissant after casting this game. I'm going to bloody need one to keep my energy levels up. God. Can Kaiser Klein do it? Probably his first game back in about three weeks. Oh, no. That's a huge mass of goons. And uh, they're going to be able to deal with these curves. And the element of surprise of the curves is gone now because of all that raiding. Yeah, another Culverin coming in now. And he's just able to hold on. Honestly, it's these walls. These five wood walls just putting in work. Getting smacked with a culverin as well to these skirmishers. Still has two TPs. It looks like it's Kaiser Klein's turn to just leave his explorer doing some sieging right now. And that's quite unlike Kaiser Klein. He's very normally very cautious about what his explorer is doing. These goons have been buffed as well. So it looks like he shipped... Oh, no, he hasn't sent Dragoon combat. Okay, I don't know why they look like they're buffed. They've got 20, plus, 20 uh, plus 41 HP. I'm not really sure where that's coming from. I'm sure someone in, a, in the chat, YouTube chat, will be able to tell me. <laughs> and yeah, back up to 59 villagers. Probably would have been close to 99 if uh, all of those villagers didn't go down. But has Kaiser Klein, has all he done delayed the inevitable? Kaiser Klein on 39. Did lose a few, few villagers of his own as well. Kaiser Klein realizing he has an explorer in the game right now. But it's dead. does have quite a lot of villagers here, but he's going to see this. And I think the stagecoach, because Revnank has stagecoach, he, he does have a very small line of sight over here. Oh, looks like we're going to see a south flank down here. And I hope we do, because like this is where most of his villagers are right now. Some wall, some counter walls by Kaiser Klein. Very nice. And he knows he can't breach this side, right? He knows he can't push this side. There's just too much going on here. There's too much advantage for Revnak here. So he's going to go south. And just as some walls are getting built, he sees it now. He sees it now. Some more villagers are likely going to be going down here. But he's not far behind. This was his one weak spot. Kaiser Klein knowing this. But is it too little, too late? That's the problem. Should he have done this sooner? He only has to contest against one TC here. A couple of organ guns. Does have a culverin as well. Interesting skirmer. L those skirms are the luckiest skirms to get away with going right around the corner there. Revnak desperately trying to get some walls up. Just to give his artillery some advantage here. Now we're on a more, a much fairer um, playing field here. That Culverin coming in clutch. And all those organ guns are going to do some damage. And that's a triple, baby. And are they going to get the lock on fire? No, they're not. They're not. Okay. Almost had the target lock. Target lock feature is so OP with organ guns. <laughs> Honestly. And this is the right moment to push him because he's aging up with the engineer. And I don't think Kaiser Klein is. He has a, that's a lot of food. Five more curves coming in. If ever there's a chance, it's right now, Kaiser. It's now or never. But he's more focused on getting that third TP and now he's backing up. Ayy. Kaiser. Kaiser. It's now or never, buddy. It's now or never. Doesn't have 1k gold, so can't, can't age up himself quickly here. Why is he backing up? I'm not sure what the problem is. Redmack doesn't really know this yet, though. He doesn't really see that, that he's backed up that hard. He's, he's going in, just to double check. And I think he's going to realise now that he's backed up all the way. He's going to probably try and take down this TP. And yeah, and not even going to take down the TP. He, he, he's kind of confident that the Kaiser Clan's retreated. And he's going to just rush back to his main area of operations up here. But Kaiser Klein's coming back for more. 
So Revnak probably just kind of going to be retreating a little bit, but not all the way. And yeah, going to see this instantly again. Another villager going down. So Kaiser Kaim being a sneaky boy, he probably saw the age up and decided to come back. 5k score difference. But when you start to get into the late game, which is this, yeah, this is still kind of the mid game. But once it starts to transition into that late game, that 25 to 30 minute late game, um, you know, 5k score deficit doesn't matter that much. Again, just mainly Skirm Goon with, with a couple, a few curves as well. And I almost sneezed and almost missed that last attack, but I didn't. And what an anticlimax. Right at the end, we don't even get to see the big fight, but Kaiser Klein knew it was over. Age 4 was in. Two heavy cannons were coming. Two factories were coming. Kaiser Klein had no way of aging. He had nothing left on the map. Nothing left on the map. And yeah, I think he just knew. Bang. Legion Dragoons coming in. Look at these, look at these boys with their little golden tints. Golden trim, buttons, beautiful. And yeah, as soon as that vet, those veteran legions came in, it was GG. 41 with three multipliers versus these Kerrs. Even the mighty Kerr would get absolutely melted by this. It does have Dragoon combat in at this point as well. So GG. Current rank one, beating the previous rank one. Will we see a rematch? Will we see a rematch? Let's hope so. Economy, big economy difference. Yeah, GG, well played to both. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.